Changes everything from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Aspects of Love. Beautiful, beautiful, very uplifting song. It's really one of my favorites to sing in a show. It's just so much fun. Anyways, I have to tell you about me and my history with musical a little bit, which is pretty much non existent. I have done one musical in my whole life, and that's more than 25 years ago. That was uh, and Andrew Lloyd Webber as well, actually. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. That's everything I've ever done. For the rest, I love heavy metal. <laughs> and I love opera. And music theatre in the middle. Just never really appeared on my radar. So I must admit that when we gathered all the repertoire for this album and for this tour, a musical affair, I have discovered and learnt a lot, especially from my two colleagues. Uh, David and Carlos because they have done a lot of that repertoire in the past and So I've discovered a lot of beautiful beautiful music Which I was completely unaware of it was even out there and what I found is that what appeals to me personally most are the classics 
from the 50s and the 60s. Grand Oeuvres like South Pacific, Carousel, Camelot. It's very, very beautiful music, very lush orchestrations, beautiful melodies, very clever, very romantic lyrics. Pleasure to sing as well. And our next song we're going to perform for you is from that era. However, the musical it is extracted from is not very well known at all. It's called The Roar of the Grease Paint, The Smell of the Crowd. Now, if you didn't get that, don't worry about it. Forget it. <laughs> it was written mid 50 somewhere in, uh, in Nottingham, in, uh, in the UK actually. Made it down to the West End for a very short run, and then even made it over to Broadway in the United States, but only because Tony Bennett recorded an iconic version of this following song. Now, we're going to do our own little El Divo version in Spanish for you tonight. I hope you're going to enjoy it. The song is called Who Can I Turn To? Thank you. 